Welcome back to Mortal Kombat 1 everyone. In fact, welcome to the second episode of Mortal Kombat 1 Online. If you don't know what this series is about, what I'm going to be doing here is eventually, hopefully covering every single one of the characters in this game. I'll take them to training mode, show you what I think is good with them, show you where I think their strengths and weaknesses are, show you a couple of combos, and then we'll hit up online, play a couple of matches, and then see where we get with each character. The characters I like will get more episodes, the characters I don't really like will probably only get one, but I will try to eventually get around to trying everybody. So yeah, if you're excited about this series and you're excited about Reiko, do like this video and subscribe to the channel because there is more to come. So yeah, in episode 2 we are going to be covering Mr. Reiko. This is actually a really interesting character. I think they made him really fun. Uh, this was a sort of classic um, MK, I think it was in MK4, I don't know. But he was around, uh, and I think this is another one of those sort of boring characters that they kind of spiced up. Reiko basically is an up-close brawler in this game. His only objective is to get in your face, hit you, combo you, and then command grab you. Uh, this character is probably the only quote-unquote grappler in this game, i.e. a grappler is a character who focuses mainly on a command grab uh, to get his pressure. That's because Reiko doesn't really have any low starters, in fact he doesn't even really have any uh, overhead starters either, he mainly focuses on mids, but the threat of opening the opponent up is always there because he has the command grab. So yeah, what's good with Reiko? Uh, he actually has some really good solid buttons. Uh, first of all he has this overhead knockdown move, this is safe. He also has his little sweep. Uh, this is it's not a, it's not the actual sweep because this is the actual sweep which is actually plus three but he has a really good down four uh, he has some really good mids this mid string is fantastic and it's your main combo tool it's a little bit slow on startup but the thing is the first hit is still safe the second one obviously isn't um, but it's one of those no actually it is safe I was mistaken this is still safe and then the third hit isn't, but it's confirmable, so if you see this, you can hit the kick button and get your full combo. He also has uh, this move, this move is plus 8 on block, so what you can do is hit them and then command grab. Basically that's really the gist of Reiko's gameplay, you want to force some sort of plus frame onto your opponent where you're at an advantage, and then essentially the opponent has to guess between whether you're gonna hit them with something and get a combo that way or whether you're gonna go for the command grab and this command grab is pretty damn good um, you can choose what side you land on so you can constantly keep your opponent in the corner if you want to um, and if you EX it, it does take two bars so do be careful in, with that um, first of all you get a ton of damage and then this command grab actually becomes mid. So let me get Mr. Shao Khan to duck. As you can see, the command grab still hits. Whereas if I do the regular version, it goes above his head. So do keep this option in mind because one of the interesting things about this command grab, the mid version, the EX version, is you can actually punish quite a lot of things which would normally be unpunishable. Moves where the enemy is safe, so like something like this normally would not be punishable by your opponent the command grab can punish it in a lot of cases so do keep that in mind but again keep in mind that it does take resources reiko also has fairly good damage uh, even meterlessly you can do quite a lot of things with him i dropped the combo but you can do stuff like this easy 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 this is like his 1-2, so it's a really good punish string, uh, and then you can very simply turn it into uh, quite a good damage combo. He also has really good damage in general, so if I hit the opponent with a basic BMB and I don't drop it, this is his, essentially his combo path, like I said, if I don't drop it, 
Yeah, this is his main combo path. Um, you can essentially turn anything into this launcher, into the kick, into the slide move, which is his wake up. And you're gonna get pretty solid damage. So basically, he's kind of like Reptile in that you really only need to learn sort of one combo path and you will be essentially set with all situations. Reiko also has pretty good buttons. You can see he has sort of like Dalsim limbs. Uh, anything that has that red aura is gonna have really good range on it. So do keep that in mind. Like, look at that. That's a mid. And then you can do stuff like that. And then finally, one thing I gotta mention. For a sort of up-close grapply character, this dude has a really solid projectile. These shurikens are honestly kind of insane. First of all, because they sort of travel randomly, it's not really random, but because he throws out three of them, it's actually sort of difficult for a lot of the bigger bodied characters to jump this consistently. Because you're throwing these out, a lot of the times it's gonna grab or sort of clip the feet of especially large characters like General Shao. So this is really good. You can throw it out quickly. Um, the second thing that's really good about this is look at how much chip damage I'm dealing. This thing is insane. The EX version, which is of course a mid, does even more chip. So for sort of an up-close character, you can actually hang back a little bit if you want with Reiko and throw out your shurikens. So he has a really solid projectile. Oh yeah, and he has Sub-Zero Slide, so do keep that in mind. Uh, if you want to, if you want to play that way, if you're on that McDonald's Wi-Fi, you can randomly go for this. Actually, it's more like an Aaron Black slide, but whatever. So yeah, Reiko is, I think, an all-around solid balanced character, but he's not easy to play. Uh, and then this is how we're gonna sort of transition into some of the weaknesses that this character has. Number one thing is it's gonna be kind of difficult for you to open your opponent up. Uh, he kind of has that reptile syndrome where you're basically gonna be blocking, crouch blocking against him and there's not a lot he can do. Uh, he has this overhead which sure, he'll hit you with it, knock you down, but it doesn't deal that much damage and it's not a huge threat. He, even with cameos uh, like Cyrax, he cannot turn this overhead into an actual combo. Unlike some other characters who can do that. Second of all, the command grab, while excellent, doesn't do a lot of damage uh, meterlessly and if your opponent knows what they're doing and can duck it consistently and can predict you, you are going to be in trouble. This is sort of the age-old grappler curse. If the opponent is making the correct reads and you're making the wrong reads, you are just going to have a bad time. And that's the thing about Reika, again, in matches where you can force his gameplay, he is really good. He deals a lot of damage, very solid, uh, doesn't seem like he has a lot of weaknesses, but when things are not going your way, man is it bad. Um, really him having no like mix-ups at all does kind of hurt him. And the other thing I gotta mention, even though he has uh, meterless combos, to get the real big damage you do need to spend meter. And that's the other main weakness of this character, is that he is a little bit meter intensive. Uh, the fact that this takes two bars, it's a lot, it's a lot. And sure Reiko can build meter fairly well, but you are going to be finding that you're struggling on meter if you're just playing consistently, which of course doesn't allow you to have a lot of combo breakers, which is essential uh, and can get you into some trouble. So yeah, that's the thing. Reiko, I think, is strong. He is not the easiest character to use on the roster. I think he kind of falls into that category of like the rain type. He's not as difficult as like Kenshi or some of the really tricky characters, but I think he does take some specific knowledge, but man, this character is fun. And finally, getting into the topic of assists, this is actually another area where Reiko, I think, is strong. Just like again with Reptile, because he has good meterless combos and fairly good damage, he basically can pick any assists he wants. He doesn't really need anyone to cover some of the weaknesses he has because, um, yeah, again, he just kind of plays his own game. Uh, a lot of the times, 
I've struggled to come up with cameos because the combo extender ones like Goro and all that are just really not needed because you already have good combos. So actually the cameo I'm going with right now is Striker. I'm picking Striker for two reasons. First of all, Striker's ambush, this grenade throw, just gives you an extra layer of offense when you're throwing out your shurikens because you can call in Striker and he's gonna throw some grenades which are actually mid. Uh, and this is an ambush cameo so you can keep throwing. Push your opponent back, they can't do anything. If they try to come in and crouch your shurikens, you're gonna hit them with the striker bombs. Second of all, if you screw up for some reason and you do something unsafe, uh, you do something like this. Uh, you can actually, if you time it right... Wait, I'm doing the wrong thing, yeah. You can time it right. I said you can time it right, yeah, and call him Mr. Striker and he's gonna do the low thing. And the low is actually safe, it's plus one on block, so you're keeping yourself safe. And finally, Striker has this. This handcuff move is actually a combo ender, uh, so if I do something like this, call him in, it ends the combo and it's actually a restand. And restands are really good because, first of all, they lock out the opponent from doing armored wake-ups. And second of all, you can dash in afterwards and immediately continue with your pressure. You can do something like this, go into the command grab and just sort of like reset the opponent, which is actually very strong. So Striker is currently my main pick. But like I said, I think with this character, you really are basically free to pick. Uh, any cameo you want. Cool. Now that we've covered Reiko a little bit, and please don't take any of these as like some overarching character guides, there are character specialists who have made way more in-depth videos for each of these fighters. Uh, this is not like gospel, this is just my sort of little overview. So yeah, now that we've covered Reiko, let's go ahead and jump online and see what we can do. Okay, so here we are with match number one, and I gotta say, I think this guy like actually died on me or something, because he was destroying me for the first two games, and all of a sudden, he just completely went AFK. Um, hopefully, whoever you are, you are still alive on the other end. Um, and this is not like me being rude and not giving him a chance to plug in his controller or something, because, bro, he's been missing for like two and a half games. If he was... Like, if he has a dead controller, he should have gotten the correct wire by now. Um, I gave him enough of a chance, I feel like, so... What can I do? Uh, I guess I'll just, you know... Take the victory and run. Okay, let's see if we can get someone who is actually, like, alive. Uh, this guy's looking like it, and hopefully he's not gonna get, like, fatalityed in the middle of the... In the middle of the set, like the previous guy was. Oh, he's gonna be one of those, right? I can already tell he's gonna be one of those, watch. Yep. Didn't I just make a video on why you should learn how to counter this? I feel like I'm gonna get vindicated there. Um, oh, that's an overhead, yeah. Okay. Oh, that has armor on it. Okay. Get into the corner, bitch. Because you know he's gonna do something random. Oh, is that death? No. I'm doing something random as well. What the hell was I doing there? That was some terrible shit, but I still won. <laughs> Uh, that's all that matters. He's gonna teleport. Listen, he just wants to teleport. You know, you know he wants to teleport. Get back into the corner. Easy money. Call out. I still have Goro. God damn it. Okay. So I realized in the previous. Um, match that I unfortunately had Goro because cameos don't change between matches so yeah oh shit that was the parry Ooh. 
Oh, okay. Need something that's a little bit more forward advancing. Catch him. Yep. Should have finished the strength. That was some messy gameplay there on my end. I'm not gonna lie. Um, haven't fought this type of smoke for a little bit now. Uh, but this is, like I said, this is exactly why I made that video previously on how to counter this type of play because, like, I literally have zero fear. Um, I'm like 90 to 95% confident that this guy is not going to beat me because the only thing he does is he, he relies on the smoke gimmicks and um, that's good for a while, but... You know. It's not good enough. Nice. That was nice. Ooh. Cool. I'm pretty sure I blocked that. Felt like I blocked it. Mid? He's gonna do something random. Yep. How is that not punished? Nice. Alright. Whatever. I don't know how I didn't get the punish there. All good. It's all good. Just gotta not be worried about this. Because normally this is like the type of shit that frustrates players. Uh, you are getting hit by smoke gimmicks. But... The... The main thing is just to stay cool. And you know, even if he beats you, who cares? Uh, the Damn, that's fast. That's actually way faster than I thought it was. Alright. Got gimmick there. Listen. I'm not worried. Because this is just downloading. Uh, I played pretty piss poorly there. In the first game too. So, you know, here you just gotta... Because that's the thing that people have the tendency to get frustrated when shit like this happens to them. But that's how they get you. That's how they get you. So... I now have my correct cameo. I swear to you, Serena frustrates me more than Smoke ever could. Why why would you break? That was a terrible break. It's gonna be a lot of damage. No, it's not. God, I swear to you, I'm blocking those. At least it feels like I'm blocking those. I did the wrong thing. Nice break. Didn't get the break there. <laughs> I didn't even armor that. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take my victory. That is not that punishable. Okay. He's really getting caught by those staggers. Um, hmm. Oh, come on! Yeah, he is. See, I, like, I feel like I'm doing the punishes, but... It's just like annoyingly dropping them or something. Uh, that's plus or something, isn't it? Oh, 
Okay, lesson learned here. Uh, I gotta go back into the lab and practice more on how to punish, because I know the reptile punishes. Um, Should be good. Ooh, okay. I dropped the the four dash. If you can even say something like dropping a dash, but it does happen. He's gonna do something random. Either low teleport, and he's done. See, that's the thing, you just gotta like, you know, keep it cool and I think you'll be good to go. Again, what I need to definitely learn and take away is I need to practice how to punish Smoke's gimmicks with Reiko because I thought I had the punishes down but not that well. Maybe it's one of the kicks. Probably one of the kicks will do it. This one maybe. See, up block. Finally got the up block. What the hell? That's the annoying one. I feel like... I feel like I am getting the... The, the punish there, but it's just not... Not working out as well. Fuck. That was my mistake. There. Oh, that has armor on it? Interesting. This is like armoring the shit out of each other. Double jump kick. Always works. Grab, plus frames, grab, plus frame, grab. Is he not gonna know what to do? Oh, that's a low. I keep doing the wrong. I have the, like, the Darius and Goro assists in my mind in terms of, you know, like what they do. You're dead. Uh, you know, that's why I keep pressing the wrong ones with Striker. But again, as I kind of tried demonstrating here, you really don't need a specific assist with this character, because he just kind of does his own thing. And like I said, I think that's a strength for him. Cool. GG's. Another smoke, just for variety's sake, right? And I once again forgot to <laughs> switch to Striker. Oh man, GG's. GG's, Mr. Sketchhead. I'm never even like gonna manage that, right? God, that damn move. I swear to you, I'm blocking it. I know that's like the most DSP thing ever to say. I swear to you, I blocked that. You know, whining like a bitch, but. I actually swear to you, I blocked that. This guy's a little bit more grab heavy than the previous guy was. Get command grabbed. Fuck! Get the break, I'm dead. At least he's in the corner. That's the... That was a hundred percent planned. I meant to put him in the corner. Tactical. You see how he's losing? That's like my masterful bait. Putting aside any misinterpretation of that. Jesus, 
because that's actually a lot of damage. I need to get a little bit more Goro back in here. It's gonna be a big... No, he didn't go for it. I dropped the combo. It's gonna hurt. character by the way I'm talking about smoke has some like insanely damaging combos for how he's easy his stuff is to pull off oh yeah uh, that's cheap come on please tell me that's gonna kill that's gotta kill, right? That has to kill. I wish there were critical arts in this game. Like in Street Fighter. That has to kill. I think it just barely did. Um, <laughs> that was quite a... I didn't have that much HP left. I, I, will, I will admit it. Uh, that was a little bit close. Just a little bit. This guy must be pissed now. He's stewing, I think. He really was just like one chip away from... God damn it. Should go for a plus frame move there. Okay. Get grabbed. Nice jump. Interest some interesting tactics going on there. Grab him. I'll, I'll give it up. As in, I'll sacrifice my fatal for the dub there. It's a grab, by the way. That's why I did it just like randomly. Um, if your opponent is blocking and you have your fatal, with Reiko, you can pull it out because it's a mid too, so they can't duck it. And I think if you press up, it'll catch like opponents in the air too. So he's got some like... Nice. Ooh. God, this guy is like... He was like really like getting me with that sequence there. Just had like every single right read. This intro, this outro is sick, by the way. Not intro. His intro is good as well, but this outro is sick. He does that little hand dust when he uh, starts the match, but everybody and their mother skips it, so that's kind of a shame. This is gonna hurt. I swear to you. I really feel like DSP up in here, but I'm making them excuses. Should have gone for the grab. As in the ender. What? Are you kidding? What, what, what was that hitbox? 
Oh, motherfucker. Okay, I wasn't actually gra uh, blocking there, so... Excuse doesn't ap apply. Nice empty jump. You know what? Get armored, bitch. Just like bear hugging him. See, this is what I talk about when I say that the shurikens have insane hitboxes. Do you see how I clipped his little feet there? You know what? Okay. Ooh! Did I mention that Reiko has a shitty down too? I think I didn't, but if you're interested, Reiko has a shitty down too. That move looks insane. Like, that animation is... Oh, the double hit. GG's. I'm so dead. Yeah, that's mad easy combo too. I'm curious when I'll get to smoke uh, in this series how I'll feel about him. There's a lot of smokes. There are so many smokes online. Smokes and um, scorpions and Liu Kangs. That's like the three that I see. I don't think I've fought a Tanya yet, like, not a single one, not a single Tanya, maybe we'll need to do Tanya next. What? Bro. <laughs> that was good, GG's. talking about. You can punish a lot of things with that command grab. Try to down to that. guy doesn't like blocking on wake up that's one of the things Ooh, that down to is so unbelievably shitty just gonna go for the extension because i want to save my meter fuck it sucks Yeah, I was gonna projectile this bitch out. <laughs> GG's, GG's, not gonna fatal because I'd have to cut it out anyways, so what's the point? Um, that was almost close, almost close. We had a couple of um, calls there. All right, GG's, GG's. All right, and with that, I think we can safely say that we... All right, and with that, I think we can safely wrap up the second episode of MK1 Online and cover. All right, and with that, I think we can end it here and finish up the second episode of Mortal Kombat 1 Online and the Reiko video. Like I said at the start, I don't think I'm sort of hiding my feelings here. I actually really, really like this character. I think he's fun. He has a unique gameplay style. Um, archetypes are kind of sort of lacking in this game. I think everybody sort of generally plays the, the same outside of a couple of characters and Reiko is one of the characters that plays a little bit differently so he's super fun you guys know if you watched previous MK videos that I've done or Street Fighter or something that I like grapplers I like the command grab characters and Reiko is that now I'm not saying I played my best today I definitely didn't don't know why but as you can see if you have sort of the solid fundamentals down you can 
uh, get some dubs with this character. He, like I said, is not the easiest to play, but super, super fun. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Who are we going to look at next? I don't know. I kind of want to cover the lesser used characters still. So I'm thinking maybe Tanya. Tanya looks like an interesting one. So yeah, we'll see what we can do there. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. And yeah, hope to catch you next time as well. Peace out and goodbye.